We would be honored if you would join us. Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Black Series review. We're looking at another character from Andor. These are a couple of figures that I uh, missed back when they came out, and I've just sort of put them off for a little while. Um, but yeah, coming towards the end of the year, I just decided I wanted to get these last couple of figures and uh, fill, fill a couple of spots on the shelf. We're looking at Imperial Officer, Dark Times, uh, yeah, like I said, from Andor. It's one that, uh, yeah, like I said, I, I, I sort of skipped on it because the first wave of Andor figures weren't really main characters. There were, um, well, aside from the Aldani mission, Cassian, which is one of the ones I've just picked up picked up um but yeah been very keen to eventually grab them and this one has always sort of always grabbed me so uh it looks pretty good so he is number two in the line it does say in an era filled with danger deception and intrigue cassian andor embarks on a path that will turn him into the rebel hero who will challenge the evil galactic empire so just a basic write-up of the uh of the series image on the side but yeah without further ado let's bust them open and have a look before i start if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new this is the way all right folks here is the imperial officer unnamed but still a great looking figure uh reusing some parts um from other imperials which you know why change it you know, when they're basically a uniform. One thing I love about this figure is the uh, the sort of the the rain sort of coat sort of thing. We see Krennic wearing one of these at the start of Rogue One. Obviously, his is white, whereas this one is black. So his rank insignia. Um, just accessories he comes with. It does come with this sort of... Uh, I can't remember the name of them, but... Uh, yeah, sort of small Imperial Blaster pistol. But yeah, great looking head sculpt. I think he looks fantastic. Let me get nice and close there. I'm not sure whether I can't recall whether it's meant to be based on a particular particular on-screen person or actor, or whether they've just sort of gone for a generic looking not to say he looks generic, but you know, just a moustache twirling imperial sideburns very char characteristic of the empire but yeah the inclusion of the sort of the cloak cape whatever you want to call it raincoat um obviously protecting the uniform i think having this as a option is a great time to do a re-release of director Krennic from Rogue One, given that only a couple of years ago we'd got a lot of the re-releases of the Rogue One characters uh, with photo reel updates. Uh, Krennic unfortunately didn't get made, um, didn't make it into that line. Um, given they've just done him in the vintage collection, I think perfect time to get an update, but still be able to do something different with him. And now I think having this option as, a, as something that's removable from director credit. You can have him from the start of the film and then take it off and have him displayed as, as he is later in the film, obviously. But I think it's really cool. And there's some sort of press images that they've sort of done this weird thing where they've sort of flared the cape back. I'm not sure whether that's intentional or whether a photographer's just doing it, but if I guess if you're making a sort of shot out in the wind, taking a photo, and you want to sort of replicate that sort of wind look. I guess that looks kind of cool. It's a little bit more Batman-y, but that's all right. Now, I dare say it is removable, and I've lost his head. <laughs> so as we just discovered, the cape, the, the head does pop off quite easily, revealing that sort of neck joint there. And this uh, upper cape should... I thought it might have been removable, but it's actually glued into the back so this thing it doesn't look like it's going to come out you'll be able to cut that it looks like it's pegged in um but yeah for the moment i'm not actually going to do that 
you know what? Yeah, that's uh, just taking a little closer inspection. Look at it. I'm actually just going to break that off. You know, that's glued on. But uh, yeah, no, I'd rather have that sort of sitting loose. Um, just in able to be able to remove it. Because it's definitely a peg. But for some reason they've glued that down. And, you know, that's an easy... If I want to re-glue it down, I will. But just to get a look at the body here. You know, the, the top half is a sort of a new Imperial body. There is different articulation in there. I think the arms are probably similar to what we've had. Yeah, the, the torso there is a bit different. It's got that... It's interesting. So you could definitely just pop the head back on and have sort of another sort of imperial grunt. But I, I, I do, I like the cape a lot. I will be putting that back on very, very shortly. Um, while the articulation is exposed, we will go through that. Like I said, double belt built in the, in the top head there. There's a ball joint in the neck, just allowing for some good movement. We do have those butterfly joints in the shoulders as well as the ball hinge in the shoulders. The ball hinge in the elbows. They're pretty straight, sort of 90 degree angle. Uh, ball hinges in the wrists. That one goes sort of in and out. And this one, they both go in and out. Uh, torso joint, a little bit of a ball on socket there. Uh, the legs. Instead of the uh, ball and socket of the upper thighs, there is a swivel cut in the upper thigh, which is good. Double joints at the knees and ball hinges at the angles, ankles with the rocker. So yeah, pretty much standard black series articulation. Some new elements, some reused elements being mainly the legs. And uh, yeah, let's get this thing back on. it does it, it doesn't need to be glued down I don't think because it's sort of it sits on there nice and snug actually so yeah I reckon I'll just leave it and that looks fine get this guy armed up so he's a he's a cool looking figure I like him a lot Glad I opted to stay away from the uh, black background for this video, otherwise you would have been completely lost in there. But yeah, it's good. I like it. The sculpt on the uh, on the cape there looks nice. You can sort of see the hemming seams and all that. Looks good. Yeah, definitely excited to add this to the uh, the dark times era of my Black Series collection. Fitting very nicely with the other Imperial officer. Yeah, definitely drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Whether what you think about the figure or about Andor as a series. I personally just love it a lot. I think it's an amazing series. Definitely re requires the, uh, the time and patience and attention. Don't sit and watch it while you're on your phone. <laughs> All right, folks, next up, we're looking at uh, the Cassian and or Aldani mission. So stay tuned for that one. We'll pop, pop that one up tomorrow at the time of recording this. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Till then, may the force be with you always.